Okay, I'm out at the range today. I'm going to uh, be shooting the rock, PSA rock, 5.7 by 28, caliber 5.7 by 28. I've got four new things of ammunition that I'm going to test today. First off is going to be the SS-195 lead-free cartridge. Um, I've also got the SS-198 LLF uh, lead-free cartridge. That's the green tip. I've got the brand new uh, Fiocchi Subsonic. Uh, 62 grain and the Fiocchi Hyper Performance high quality ammunition that's 35 grain. And we'll take a look and see what those are um, and see what we can get a, a look at uh, for the range. I've got my lab radar set up. We'll see how it goes. Okay, so first up, I've got the 27 grain lead free SS 195 LF from FNH USA. And we'll be shooting them out of 5.7 PSA rock. It's a five inch, five and a quarter inch barrel because I have the threaded barrel on it. And we're going to see what we get, what results we get out of the lab radar. So let's take a look, see how it does. Um, See if I'm able to capture it. That's been my problem. Okay, that did not capture it. And we got a failure to feed on that one. Interesting. That's the first time that's happened with this one. With this, uh, Done. So let's dump that out. Let's put this back in. All right, let's see if we can capture it with this one. Twenty seventy seven two zero seven seven. Twenty two oh nine two two zero nine twenty two zero nine twenty two zero five twenty two forty six and that was the last one. Okay, so for the FNH 5.7 195 LF lead free, I was able to get an average of 2184 with a standard deviation of 73.6. That's not great. Um, the high of 2246 and the low of 2077. Um, yeah, it looks like that first shot, it really was registered very low. Um, but let's move on. Let's let's take another uh, look. Well, next up, we'll, we'll take a look at the SS-198 LF law, law enforcement. That's the green tip. Okay, next up, I have these green tip. Uh, these are really hard to find, but I was able to get some. Again, they're in this uh, SS-198 LF. They're 27 green. Let's uh, load up five of them and see what we can get. Again, my apologies for the gunfire in the background. That's what you get when you don't own your own private range or live anywhere close where you can just go off and shoot by yourself. Okay, let's see what we get. 2265, well that's a bit spicier. 2193, I guess it's in the same range. 2325, 2213, 2308. All right, that was the five. Let's just take a look and see what we're getting for in terms of 
our velocity of the average was 2261, the high was 2325, and the low was 2193, with a standard deviation of 57.7. That was a little better. Okay, let's go on to the next one. Okay, so next up, I've got this Fiocchi Hyper Performance High Quality Ammunition. It's a 35 grain, so you'd expect it to be a little slower. It's got like a brown tip, um, you can see on its projectile. Um, let me reset the lab radar. Get it ready. And we'll see what the five do. I'm not sure why I had that failure to feed on that first round um, that went off. I'm not sure. You know, I've noticed when I'm loading these things, I can get a few that are too far forward um, in in the in the magazine. And I'm wondering if I didn't have it back. I think maybe it's on these five sevens again. Still a new gun for me. Maybe worthwhile um, hitting the back of it. Um, at any rate, let's see how this round does. Again, should be a little slower, but let's check it out. This is the Fiocchi. 1794, quite a bit slower. And failure to extract. All right. 1876. 1803, 1837, 1814, and that's it. So let's just take a look at what the standard deviation and everything is. So the average was 1825. A high 1876, the low 1794, standard deviation 33. So pretty good rounds, um, not quite as hot loaded. Let's see, there are eight grains difference. Um, there's eight grains of difference between this Fiocchi and this green tip. Um, but yet there's about three or 400 feet of difference. Um, that's quite a bit. So these aren't, these hyper performance or maybe not so high performance when you compare these other two um, high performance ammunitions from uh, F and H. Uh, I have no idea about the bullets themselves, if they work better or not. I mentioned earlier I was going to talk about the subsonic. I'm not going to do the subsonic today. I suspect my lab radar will uh, not work in terms of reliability and feeding issues. I don't know. Um, I do have a new dot on my thing. Um, I do know there are some longer um, screws in it. I'm going to have to do some more performance testing to see what's going on with that. See if I have to go to shorter screws and maybe that's messing with the ejection. Um, it could be that I've also run it a few times and haven't cleaned it. I don't know. I'll have to check more about that. Um, tell me what you think. I'm pretty impressed with uh, certainly these two brands and I'm saying Fiocchi, yeah, you put out something substandard. These two uh, from F&H are not they're easy to acquire if you get my drift um, uh, loadings. Um, so at any rate, uh, tell me what you think about the new loadings. Tell me what you think about the results of the lab radar. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe. Mm -hmm.